<laughs> All right, guys, we promised you that we have a second guest for you today, and he's right here. Our second guest is a London Nigerian recording artist. He's an energetic stage performer who started his career six years ago in London before rebranding for the Nigerian audience. Welcome to the show, Samson Genio, popularly known as SJ. <laughs> Hey. Oh, nice my word. You on the so show. nice to have you on the okay. show. So you came from London, yeah? In it. <laughs> wow. Hey. The switch up. Yeah. The switch up. Wow. <laughs> the Yoruba is not even sounding. The wow. it's a, I'm trying my best now. OK, well, he's better than me. Sure. Yeah, yeah, no, he's better he's than me. way better than me. I understand more than I can, I can speak. OK, me as Yeah, it starts that way. I'm sure you know you can <laughs> speak very well. That's what I'm saying. Interesting All stuff. Right. Now, let's get into business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I was so surprised to get to a point, and I saw that you're branded for the natural market. So yeah. I hear that people rebrand yeah. every now and then or, you know, they are actually uh, making people know that, you know what, I don't bear this name again. This is what I bear right mm -hmm. now. Uh, but for the Nigerian market, so what were you doing prior to that time? And, uh, you know, why did Nigerian markets all of a sudden become very attractive to you? I mean, I've been doing music for a very long time. So, and I was doing music in London. So, obviously, over the years, like, I've done videos in, like, Beverly Hills, like, L.A., I've... I've done a lot of stuff, but what I realized is that going back home is it's more there's there's more to life back home. And obviously in terms of the target market over here, I can see like in the next five years, Afrobeast is gonna take over take over the whole world. Mm -hmm. Like as much as everything's happening right now. So I just thought that I should come back to where I'm from and then obviously, you know, try and get into the market. For example, now Mali, he was in London before, like proper London, like Peckham and stuff, but then um, obviously, he must have came to Nigeria, and then after he came, I think that's when he made like Amai Yahoo Boy with Zlatan and look at Naimali today. I wouldn't say I'm trying to follow what he's doing, but I mean like what he did was like an example of what could be done in terms of mm. coming back home. Mm. Oh. So. so since you rebranded and came back to Nigeria, you dropped a song with Larry Gaga and yeah. Tommy Thomas, and yeah. how has the acceptance been? Everybody loves that song. Obviously, Clarence Pierce shot the song. Um, he shot the video. So, uh, but everybody, it was a bit different because, I mean, I've, I've always surrounded myself around the Afrobeat market, but obviously, like, in London, I was doing, like, drill, so, like, um, drill type of beats. But then, since I came to Nigeria, obviously, I grafted into the Afrobeats. But, like, with the way I come on to the, the way I come on to the beats is, like, I, I rap in my London accent. I might add, like, a few Yoruba points mm -hmm. inside there and stuff, so. Yeah. And since you came back, what are the challenges you faced switching? Um, I mean, I haven't faced too many challenges, but just like obviously having people to accept my London accent. Because before, you know, a lot of people, even with Americans, they not really understand all this London accent and all this yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. But then it's a bit more accepting right now. Like people can actually, for example, Dave, he's got mm. a song with a um, Bodge mm. BOJ. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Interesting okay, stuff. now that you're around, who are you looking to work with? Because I know you did tell me, Thomas. So yeah. I'm wondering, like, who is your... Who would you say fits your style of music? And what would you say is your style of music? Um, I mean, I can rap and I can sing. So it's not, like, just one avenue for me. But obviously, someone that I would like to work with, I would say, like, probably someone like Naramali or... I mean, I've worked with DJ Neptune. Oh, see. I've, worked, I've got some stuff with, um, with DJ Neptune and stuff, so... Yeah, like this. I'm I'm open to work with a lot of people, a lot, a lot of artists in Nigeria. So, yeah. Amazing. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the month we are in at the moment. It's May, and uh, the is the year fast spent already for you. Mm, it's been going pretty, pretty fast. Nice, right? Yeah. Okay, so tell us. So, what are the things that you plan doing this year? Because you know, a lot of artists are going on tours. Uh, they are having stuff yeah. to do. They have programs already, and all of those things. So, you want to let us in on what you're doing? I mean, I'm basically trying to focus on my catalog of music. So, like going to studio. Obviously, any shows that I have. Um, obviously, I'm trying to just better myself in those type of avenues. Okay. But this mainly this year, I'm just trying to focus on just the catalog and shooting videos and just making songs with different artists in Nigeria. So. 
Okay. All right, so we will go on a quick break and we will be back with SJ still right here with us. Ash, Hello. that's great vibes. All right, guys, we still have X Jakes in the building. Yeah. And uh, watching that colorful video, mm -hmm. you, earlier you said the acceptance has been pretty good yeah. and you love how the Nigerian Afrobeat is going. So now let's talk about the fact that Nigerian Afrobeat is going to the world. We have Nigerian artists on Billboard, like Billboard be like, what's that now? Oh. We also yeah. have uh, Apple Music, yeah. which now has an Afrobeat chart. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then we have a whole lot of other people accepting Afrobeat all over the world. Now you're into Afrobeat, you've come back to the country to do Nigerian music and all of that. Mm -hmm. So what would you say about the acceptance of Nigerian music around the world and how you want to fit into that? Okay, so of recent years, like, Afrobeats, has been just like growing and growing and growing. Mm -hmm. As you've seen, like different artists have been making music with with Nigeria. For example, even Lil J's song that just dropped mm -hmm. the, um, yeah. the remix with yeah. Chris Brown. Everybody's, because everybody knows um, the Afrobeat <laughs> scene is going to take over. Tap it. Like, mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to, you know, just get inside of there. But I mean, Afrobeat is just lovely. Like from a young age, I've always loved Afrobeat. So it's just something that has always been within me. So, yeah. I'm going to take you back to that very colorful, happy vibe <laughs> video. Uh, who directed it? You were saying something about the guy who directed uh, Sunga. Uh, no, 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 uh, that's the producer. Producer, yeah, actually, yeah. who produced yeah. Magic, Sunga. Sticks. Magic Sticks. Yeah. Magic Sticks. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what inspired that? Like, who, how did you put that together? I mean, we were in studio. Funny enough, I recorded the song in De um, DJ Neptune's studio. Mm. So obviously I was working with DJ Neptune, so obviously I was just um, making a few songs. And as soon as he played that beat, I was just like, wow, oh, this song is, this, this beat is mad. And I was just like, I got the vibes, the girls are just feeling, I got, so I don't know if you've noticed, but in between the names that I'm saying, names. Mm, yeah. mm. I'm saying Yoba, Ibo, Hausa. Okay. So like I broke it, so I wanted to like, to reach out to everybody. Yeah. So not just Yoba people, not just Ibo, not just Hausa. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just everybody, that's how I did it. So they said like, um, Tiwa, Amaka, Alima. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's really amazing. All right, so tell us, uh, now that you're here, what else can we expect, like, from you, basically? Uh, I mean, new music, you know, music <laughs> is music is life. Uh, I got a few songs dropping later on this this year. Ooh. I'm working on my EP. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm still growing as an artist, so. So I'm just I'm just learning how to work with all this all, all of the Nigerian artists and stuff. Yeah. And um, yeah. We well, wish you the best. We thank wish you, you the best. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming. And of course, uh, we're gonna be back with our third and final guest after the break.